Welcome to the wash daily. On today's report, Maine finally gonna open their first recreational store three months from now in June. Even though the voters voted for recreational cannabis back in 2016. The problem is the main labs haven't been set up yet to determine whether or not the cannabis is okay. And the government's not gonna issue any licenses till they have all their applications filled out, which includes verification from the state lab. So they're not gonna issue any licenses until they get the state lab set up. The federal government is now gonna start teaching police how to determine whether or not the plants are cannabis or hemp. The difference, of course, being hemp has to be less than 0.03% THC. Right now, there's been a lot of trouble with police being able to tell whether or not the person has hemp or cannabis. I guess marijuana is what they're calling it. Really what they're trying to do is not let any THC come out of these plants. Now, to get the plant to be that low, it's pretty ridiculous. If the plant has less than 5% THC, there's very little chance that plant's gonna get you high at all, anyway. So this 0.03 number, it just seems like it's a regulation to cause the hemp to be less useful and less available in the markets. Good news for the markets, hemp is on the rise. For everything from 3D plastic filament to batteries and clothing, hemp is finally starting to get used industrially in a way that we need. The problem with hemp for such a long time is that it's been an enemy of the leaders of industry. Hemp fibers are becoming widely available. Hemp as a food source is becoming well known, and the merits of which are being well distributed throughout the information of the natural food industry. Natural food experts will tell you that hemp is one of the best things you can eat. It's a much better source of textiles and cotton. Cotton is one of the worst things you could ever use to make clothes from. It requires so much pesticide and water, it really does damage to the earth when you're growing it. Whereas hemp requires very little pesticide at all, almost none. And when you plant hemp in the ground, it removes all of the toxins from the area where the plant was planted. In. One of the big issues we're having is with plastic pollution, and there is an alternative to it, which is hemp based. It's not new by any means. We've been making vegetable based resins for as long as there's been humans, back in the Roman times. And the problem is, is that the leaders of industry like DuPont and Rockefellers have got their hands on laws and they've oh, We were duped into the great hemp hoax in the 1920s. And now we're paying the price of it. We are, the farm animals, instead of eating hemp based feed, are eating horribly grown food with pesticides. And they're eating material that is not designed for consumption. High fructose corn syrup and the Smarties can. One of the problems with hemp is that it's not being grown enough. Because if it was, we'd have less CO2. As hemp converts CO2 into usable oxygen. Thanks for watching The Wash Daily.